Hello and welcome back under the dome. Welcome back to Encased and playing Hardball. We are here at the Kaleidoscope project. Oh, there's radiation there, yeah. And as we remember, let's look at the minimap. Well, we took out uh, these nasty, the nasty people. Um, and we looted them and well, we could go into this bunker now. However, our original plan had been to just check out the location. Um, so we get the reputation uh, with our friends here, our new friends, and we know that Yoko uh, likes it if we d uh, go exploring while Cheerful Jack likes to hunt hyenas. And my thinking is that we are actually like we could actually just explore this whole area here with them and we we are surely uh, we are surely going to find something here i guess and maybe we run into hyenas that's my thinking so let's do that and let's run through the radiation there and I think we checked out everything, we looted everything here that we can. And then that way we are also gaining a little bit of extra experience, I guess. Is there anything there? Oh, we've been up here before, right? Or have we? Yeah. It's just a bit dusty there. Yeah, yeah, we've been there. Okay, sorry. So. Uh, so, I haven't played the game in a while because I had played it so much that I had uh, the recordings going for a while. And well, then I played other stuff. Oh yeah, and this here is our servo shell, our beautiful servo shell, MK1. Shouldn't forget it here. I'm not even sure if someone would steal it, but we don't even want to find out. Yeah. So, because the thing is, well, I mean, I like the characters, but they are, they are not, we don't have our best synergy, uh, skill-wise and stuff, so what, yeah, here, so let's, let's just walk straight down here, like that, huh? We do have, yeah, let's do that. Aha, uh -huh. the breeze carries the smell of rotting flesh, leading us quickly to its source. A swollen, mutilated corpse lying on the desert road. Oh, let's take a closer look. So this is a coincidental thing, I guess. Oh, it's hard to say how long the body has been lying here, but it's blue and swollen. The belly has been ripped open and pale intestines are scattered all around the area. You, we notice several cans of food by the corpse. Mm. Well, it could be infected with some. Oh, the, uh, all his stuff is. Uh, he spilled his inte uh, his intestines over the cancer. Oh, I'm smelling something alien here. Like, like he ate it, and uh, you know, something came out of him or whatever. Let's examine the body first. He's wearing a blue wing uniform, his face is frozen in horror, and his hands are splattered with the contents of his ripped open stomach. Interesting. Bending over the body, we see a barely noticeable orange light glowing in the stomach cavity. Ah, 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 ah. So there's an anomaly there. Let's scan the glowing lights. We aim the scanner at the disemboweled remains and the green light moves unhurriedly across it. The light catches on something invisible and freezes on the sand, illuminating a twisting emerald path invisible to the naked eye. An LED on our communicator starts to blink. Hmm. Okay, well, what is that? Is there an artifact within him? Oh my god, should we do this? Stick your hand into the dead man's stomach? I mean, we, we have, we are wearing gloves, right? What should happen, right? Let's do that. So, attracted by the light, we push our arm into the dead man's stomach up to the elbow, but the lights are ephemeral. They disappear as soon as we touch them and leave no glowing essence on our fingers, just rotten blood and flesh. 
The heart rate and clicking of our carous dosimeter indicates that we've received a sizable dose of radiation. Oh. Well, yeah, we know. Curiosity is what killed the cat, right? But well, let's pick up the cans. The cans are so old the labels have faded, but we can still read them. Pickled ham from rafters. It expires in September 1993. We put the cans in our bag. I hope we actually... We cleaned them up a bit. Well, what is this? So nothing... We got nothing except for... Radiation. Hmm. Well, but we can actually go forward a bit further. So... Nothing bad. So I, I had hoped that we might even get something, but well, this was... Well, this, this was one of the... Mysteriosities, right? So let's travel some more. Get the mild hunger. Oh, actually, let's stop here and then let's go around the abandoned film set. So there were. Oh, we are fatigued. Well, let's maybe let's go to this tile and then we are actually um, taking a break there. Okay, there's an, oh, there is something. Walking through the desert, we notice some movement not far away from here. It's difficult to see what happens there. Only rising clouds of dust are visible. Oh. No. Look through the binoculars. We bring the binoculars up to our eyes, peering into the monotonously red desert landscape. We see some people, most likely bandits, judging by the clothes. Um, well, I mean, they are bandits, right? So I think... Uh, oh, I, w I wonder, like, if bringing bandits to justice is actually something that Sparrow likes. Our two friends here right now, they don't like fighting so much. But I think, well... They have stuff, right? And we need and want the experience. And more importantly, we want to bring order. Order and justice. So let's come up. It is, of course, dangerous. The Barrens was never a welcoming place, but now it's just plainly dead. Uh, plain deadly. Keep your Geiger counter ready in some parts of the desert. The radiation is off the scale. From duck and take cover. Survival guide, 1977. No! Then let's get out of the servo shell. Yeah. Come on. So what's going on here? That's a boss. A charger. Well, then let's just let me... Save the game, just in case. It's a charger. Okay, well. But the problem is we are quite fatigued. Yeah, but yeah, I guess it's fine. So let's sneak up on them. What are you? Oh. There's a gravitational field from the core anomaly. In this area, projectiles move along distorted trajectories due to gravitational interference. It is much more difficult to hit a target than usual in, this co in such con conditions. Oh. So that guy. Let's take a closer look through our binoculars. Looks like he has some form of... Is that... I think that's uh, actually also a wasp that the guy has. And this one has a pistol. The boss has a pistol. These guys are certainly orange wing bandits. This one has a club. The charger. Okay, well, I guess like we should we should come around from here. Is there anything that they have? Oh, there's an ammo box right here. Well, by all means, let's have a look into it. Nothing. Hmm. Let's firstly make sure that we don't uh, get a nasty surprise or anything. 
There are these two. Are there more? There's a container back there. So they are kind of looting here. Let's have a look at the container. Polymetallic ore. Well, we'll take it. 46 experience. Those we take as well. And there's a raider back here. Okay. So I guess... What does the raider have? Oh yeah, he's got a machine pistol. Okay. So I guess we are actually coming from here. The blood letter and the boss. Seem to be the nasty ones. And then we can take them out. Silently. Then everything should be fine, right? Like from here. This patch. And I'd like to shoot this guy with the psychedelic dart. Like... And what's our 70%? Or oh, 100, okay. Oh, we missed him. Hmm. Oh no, it's just 66%. Huh? Oh, come on. There. Oh. oh no, yeah, well, I was a little bit too overconfident here. But it's fine. But he didn't get... Yeah, he resisted the bleeding effect. The laceration. Oh, we only have 50%, well. Yeah. They are good. Uh, now he's coming. I want. I don't want our guys to be shot up again. By the way, how much ammunition do we have left? Where is it? There. No, that's not it. Uh, here. 63. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Can do that for a while. Oh, yeah. This guy is nearly done. Ah, yeah. And he's actually bleeding. Yeah, there you go. Just bleed to death. Oh, no. That's it. Okay. Well. Why only 39? And this one. It's also 39. Because, well, maybe because he saw, he suspects something, huh? 54%, 73. There. Good, one is down. Also, he's, uh, that's actually the effect of our gun. I really like this, to sneak up and mess them up like this. And this guy. Well, let's do the psychedelic thing on him. Forty-nine percent. Are we getting better than that? Well then. Oh, let's actually let's check him. Do you have anything? Okay, just some food. That's the boss. Doesn't even have a name. So he ran away a long time ago, I guess. 
Oh, there are two of them here. Okay, well. Psychedelic dart. In the back. Yeah, there you go. And then the laceration. Another one. Oh, she's really resisting. Who did this? Whoa, what was that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, we get away. So, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. Loading, but the she resisted the laceration. Let's have another one. Batch. There. 122. By the way, what is actually... What's our situation experience points wise? Alright. Oh yeah, and we need to take a rest. So, what do you have, my dear? Just some crap. But an Ace Griffin Hardboiled Thriller paper bag. Alright. That was worth it. Then... Oh, there's another one. Oh, I thought... Okay, oh, it's a goon. What does he have? The goon doesn't have anything. So I guess he's he's a brawler or something. Let's shoot him with the psychedelic dart. There you go. And then let's lacerate him. Come on. Come on, lacerate. Kind of doesn't care for some reason. But yeah, I mean, he's, uh... Okay, I was a bit too overconfident here. Oh no, okay, it works out all right, good. So he had... I guess he thinks that... Oh yeah, no, he's lacerated, excellent. I think the guy probably thinks that it's an anomalous thing or something. Yeah, I guess we don't we don't need uh, Who did this? we don't need to use any more psychedelics on him. It's more in the back there. Not lacerated. And finishing him off. He didn't care for the body, which I find a bit unconvincing, but well. So there. Got the shear blade, another simple lockpick. Reloading. I like this Wild West blowing bush. And we come from here. It's just 49. So I guess we are actually just taking out this guy. Come on. Oh, he doesn't see anything. Oh, he has the laceration. Okay, good. He died from laceration. Excellent. Why don't they have any ammunition with them? But well, the good news is we can just reload the uh, the air gun, uh, the air gun lets or what, what not. Yeah, I guess you two can come over now. Yoko, you get a shot. On the guy.
cheerful Jack. You can't really sneak around too much. But let's get close, as close as we can. And then you call. How about a precise shot? I'd like something that gives an effect. The blind shot costs her fatigue, which doesn't matter. Well, then you just kneel down and then let's disarm them. They are nice. Uh, why? Well, well, then that kind of didn't go as planned, but whatever. And you run up. Oh no, crap. I should have run, here? ended the uh, sneak. Oh well. That was, that was a disaster. But you notice that I didn't play for a while. Let's hope he's not putting uh, Yoko on the ground now. One or ten. Isn't he? Th so she failed to disarm him, huh? Oh, come on. She failed to disarm him. Come on, try it again. Disarmed. Oh yeah, good. All right. And then we need to skip the turn. So there now. We can finish the guy off. I wish it would say like from where we can actually shoot. You know, like like the sideline or something, just a line that goes to the target. That would be very helpful. Oh, by the way, no, 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 no. We want to stay in stealth, of course. Oh, crap. I totally messed that up. Sorry, guys. I totally messed that up. I didn't play in a while. I I, I forgot everything. I forgot that. Um, let's do that again. So. That guy is the only one left. We, do, we want to stay in stealth, of course. Oh, crap. I need to take out that one. We need to stay in stealth, of course, because uh, now I remember. Uh, because we want to uh, get the experience, of course. Right, here's this one. The, the criminal here, our learnability is increased in stealth. So that's one of the reasons why it's so beautiful. Shoot these guys from stealth. They are very nice. And let's lacerate him. Come on, lacerate him. Missed. Oh. oh no, he's lacerated. Okay, good. Who did this? Suspect something. Right, let's wait for the laceration. There, good. And now get a bit closer. Nice. Good. Done. Done and done. Then the two others can come in now. And I feel that we should actually use psychedelics on him. But it's only 41. 69. Good. Oh well, let's lacerate him. And now you call. Cheerful Jack. Sneak in here and then Yoko. You get the kneeling position. And then you shoot him in the arm. 78%. They are good, disarmed. Very good. 
running there. Well, then cheerful Jack come out of hiding. Yeah, and well, it's too far away. Well, let's run there then. Although it doesn't really matter much, but well, actually that was nasty with the guy. Because we, hardball, we can't uh, get to him, I guess. But well, you can just shoot him. You can just shoot him. A regular shot costs four. We have two regular shots then. What is that? Yeah, you, you take him out. Good. And I'm not entirely certain. Did we actually get the experience for the kill? No. Uh, anyway. Let's not run into the anomaly. No, guys. Get away from the anomaly. So then, what does this blood letter have? Okay, just some stuff. So otherwise, well, it looks like there is actually... Nothing around. They don't have anything coming out of hiding. There were only two containers which were which didn't contain anything. Well, okay. Yeah, well. But we got some ex extra experience out of this, which is not so bad. And then we can we can just uh, camp. Yeah, let's see that. So let's not forget our servo shell. There's nothing here, no. Let's not forget our servo shell. That would be not only not smart, but self destructive. And let's reload. Good. So, all right. Ah, yeah, and well, we need to get over there. Let's not run into the anomaly. Oh no, where it was here on the right side. Yeah, well, but the wasteland is a bit safer now. Traveling. Yes, let's leave the location. Saving. And then we are camping. And, well, we are, we have mild hunger. So, and we do have fried hyena meat. And fried roach legs. A dubious meal created by Orange Wing employees. Let's try it actually, and the, the fried cockroach eggs. Hunger 75. That's not much, huh? But let's do it. Let's eat one fried roach leg. Just imagine, you know, when your teeth are in it and you, you know, pull it out of the chitinous shell. Consume it. Scan food nausea. Gonna throw up. <laughs> oh, that is so disgusting. Oh, yeah, scan food after such a meal. All one can think about is having a decent meal. Smelly food. People around may not appreciate it. Yeah, minus two charisma. Okay. Well, and let's, now that we are at it, let's eat the fried roach egg. Consume fried roach egg. Got. I have, I really have like, like a, you know, a cold shiver over my spine, down my spine. But yeah, well, that is certainly some culinary experience, isn't it? And then let's eat one fried hyena meat for hunger minus 200. Or maybe, no, actually, let's eat the fried roach leg. Well, we do have, I have them around, so we, maybe someone wants them. 
that's the main thing. Let's see this one. No, I think it's fine. So, and then we go to bed. Um, and we need we need to sleep. Seven hundred. So it's like sixty per hour or so. Yeah. I guess it's okay if we sleep like until seven in the morning. So that's seven sixteen. There. Okay, good. Sixty eight fatigue. Alright. And by the way, now now that we slept it off. Our body has digested the, the horrible food, so everything is fine. We are at hunger 259 now. All right, and by the way, do we need to get rid of something? Now that we have our, uh, our box over there, we could actually, right? Let's, let's actually put something into the box. As convenient as it is the Baba Yaga grenade launcher and then we've got the Schiff the Galenus it's even better ah no of course we wanted we have the Schiff around uh, because where's the level 3 Schiff because of the uh, criminal increase that's the thing sorry so here this one the discord yeah the wrench here we yeah the specter level three let's leave this one there I don't even remember where we got the other grenade launcher. The funnel relic. A lot of evasion. The radio lift. Energy resistance. Yeah, I mean, let's keep it around. Well, I of course I shouldn't uh, carry around too much too much stuff. What was this again? Uh, the dawn muscle plus three while affected by any damage over time status yeah i mean it doesn't wait anything that's the thing shovel we have only six uses left with our other shovel molotov cocktail agilone capsules yeah all that stuff the empty air gun power let's yeah they weigh 1.25 kilograms so I don't feel like shooting grenades at the moment actually but yeah maybe it's actually not so bad by the way is it, is it a heavy weapon where's the grenade launcher here yeah it is heavy yeah maybe we have we should have the option to shoot it and that's why we need to carry it around. Let's put the black powder away. Piece of cloth. This one as well. Shotgun pellets. Cartridges. Polymetallic ore. Weapon parts. We don't need so much airplane. Let's keep eight. Yeah, but otherwise we can actually keep the stuff. Like just in case, right? And we have 60 kilograms for potential loot. Reagent box, yeah, well, the reagent boxes, so let's, let's lose two of them. 
The Fixer. Vor. Ja. We might as well. No, we are not. No, no, no. We are not cooking uh, unless Katarzyna is in our team. So it's fine. Let's lose some plastics, like maybe six. So we keep five. These are casings. Shotgun hulls. Blow the man down. Did we actually read that? I think so, right? Or is that actually... Is that thing... A real skill book or was it... I think it's not a magazine. Let's just check that. Did we... Where did we get that? Why, and why don't I uh, have that? Why didn't I use that before? Blow, the, bl blow that man down. Where is it? Here. Behold the once contraband book. This training manual from instructor Huang Li revealed secret combat techniques unique to Eastern China. Every trick and method is described in a simple but comprehensive style and each movement illustrated with the photograph. With this expert guidance Literally anyone can master Mr. Lee's cutting-edge fighting style. How does one rebuff an enemy armed with a knife or pistol? How does one defeat a 200-pound boxer with a rolled-up newspaper? How does one break a plank with a backhanded chop or the contactless combat master's jaw in a full-contact fight? Read this book and you'll be ready for any kind of brawl at any time. Ah, oh, no, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we already read it, right? Or did we? Did, does it say something? No. Ah, oh, but it's fine. I think we read it already. So, and then we can actually... We can actually keep going. We don't have anything else that I want to leave behind, I guess. Maybe some cigarettes. Because cigarettes are disgusting. And one holo. And we don't need so many cigarettes anyway. What was the buff that we get from them? Where are they? So much stuff. So much stuff. And by the way, let's lose... Three homemade grenades, two are enough, I guess. And also 33 rifle cartridges, like 50 shots should be sufficient. And we're keeping a few assault cartridges with us. And maybe three of these just in case and two of this ore where are the cigarettes there let's lose four cigarettes what was this by the way perception plus two charisma plus one yeah but bad for the health all right so that's it all right so we are good to go again on our little expedition leaving the dome Quick saving, and then let's move here, or maybe like here. There is the the maelstrom. Let's maybe not get closer. Aha! Uh -huh. 
In the air, red from the dust, greenish lightning flashes from time to time. The sharp pulsating gusts of wind are so strong that it seems like the earth is trembling. To the heart-rending squeak of Kairos, we take a few more steps and stop at the very edge of the roaring, endlessly rushing airstream. Through the red haze, the outlines of sand-covered cars and pieces of the lining of some gigantic building emerge. This may be the collapsed spire, but we can't say for sure. We're not entering the maelstrom. We again stop at the edge of the maelstrom in the crimson mist that covers the valley. We can see a string of cars covered with sand and fragments of some gigantic structure. No, no maelstrom. Yeah. Aha, if we leave the dome's main road, we soon realize how empty the desert is. Yet even here, we may stumble across a traveling trader with a couple of guards, for instance, a tool trader from Carmine Heights Republic. Let's look through the binoculars. Yeah, closer examination reveals nothing special. A couple of armed men and a third one looking through some sacks. But wait, the trader's pulling a universal auto lock pick from the sack. Our suspicion about the nature of his wares is confirmed. Okay. Let's go to them. Let's see what they have. Maybe we can get something nice, nice and shiny. Dave Johnson. Hello there. Good day. A potato nosed fellow is hanging about kicking pebbles. You should talk to Philip. I'm only guard. Yeah, okay then. Oh, but however, you are bartering basically nothing. Okay, and you're, we don't we don't take your lucky bolt. Philip von Neumann. Hi there. We see a seriously looking man of sallow complexion. Hello, Philip von Neumann, head of von Neumann's tools. I see, I sell, well, tools naturally, interested. Well, do you know how the committee is doing? His expression turns severe. How the hell would I know how the committee is doing? I thumped my nose at your fucking neocom. Let them rot those fucking silvers. Poo it to them. If they dare cross the border into the Republic, we'll make more holes in them than their snot-nosed clerks can count. How are they doing? I hope they are doing bad. Do you need any tools or not? Well, depends what you on what you have, buddy. So, what's that? Oh, he has ropes. We do need ropes, right? Ropes are always good to have. If you are an adventurer and a Turing A5 auto hacker. Yeah. Spare parts. Yeah. Well, let's get the rope. And... There's the money here. There you go. Uh, not there. Like so. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, Philip. And you build Zachs. I don't like you. This nondescript man is looking around nervously. Hmm. Talk to Philip. Well, do you bought anything? Oh yes, well. You you need anything? Maybe a coffee or something? Canned beans? No? Well, and it's fine. Okay, and then we go. B yeah, let's let's keep on moving, guys. Right? Just around this corner. Yeah. Climbing out of the servo shell. You guys, you just wait here for a second. I just need to pee. Quick saving. Because there are some supply barrels we want to look into for experience and also nothing there. 
There's another one over there. Oh, well, let's take the direct road. We are so good at sneaking. Eh? Uh, or not? Well. Okay, well, nothing there. So, Philip. Um, I'd like some money from you, but on the other hand... Let's have some of your equipment, maybe three of those. Let's have some spare parts. Let's have some duct tape. Let's have some of this ore. Let's have the springs, maybe four of them, like so. And then let's have uh, some money. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Yeah. I guess we have enough plastics and other stuff. Maybe 50 more. So like that, huh? And that's a mechanical repair kit now. Set of spare parts and tools for maintaining and repairing machines. Waits a lot. Yeah, let's have that. Damn, can't believe it. I'm surrounded by thieves. There you go. Unfortunately, I think we are making a reputation. Because, well, they, they they must know, oh, there's a snake. They must know that uh, it was us, right? On the other hand, we just moved along, so. There you go. Saving, and we go leaving. All right, saving, and now let's walk here. Ah, again, we stop at the edge of the maelstrom. No, we don't want to enter it. Traveling. And again, no, no, no. We keep our distance to the maelstrom. No, no, we don't want to. I wonder why it's still here. She just looks like there. No, no. Let's stay clear of it. No, thank you. No, thank you. No maelstrom. Aha. There's movement against the rolling orange hills. Three armed people. That's all we can tell from this distance. Judging by the posture and a part of green crates and by these are arms traders. This looks through the binoculars. The magnified picture confirms our suspicions. Moreover, it's clear from the color of their chevrons that we are looking at the Carmine Heights Republic trading post. Anyway, who else could it be in these parts? Well, let's approach them. Let's see what they have for us. Oh, it's, it's getting darker, huh? And we are... Oh! Eh? Since when are we so fatigued and so hungry? But well... Hello there, chap. Mi Michael Tormund. This bulky guy with a shotgun doesn't look much like a former black. He looks too relaxed and he's slouching. His jacket is covered with ornate star and skull themed velcro patches. So covered that even his badge, Michael Tormund, can barely be seen peeking out among them. Buddy, do you bought anything? Nope. Well, hello there. Hold, I must search you. It's a safety precaution. He reaches out one hand and quickly, though unskillfully, pets us down. See you uh. later. If you need a gun, talk to Hubert and be good. I'm watching you, he says. Well, we will. Did he, did he take something away now? No. No, it's fine. By the way, let's sort it. I wait again. Yeah. This doesn't stack, huh? Oh, by the way, let's put the mechanical repair kit away. That's actually pretty heavy. 
Bit thing. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's fine, I think. Hello, friend. Hubert Brochet. The tall, tanned man with the battered old shotgun hanging over one shoulder stands before us. He's wearing a badge on Carmen Heights with public colors on his black armor. It says his name is Hubert Brochet, and that's that he's a traveling trader. Hubert offers us his weather beaten hand. Hello, hello. As soon as I saw you, I thought, here's a person coming to give me money. He laughs unpleasantly, but at the same time presses his hand to his chest in a disarming way, as if apologizing for his manners. I mean, uh, you give me money and I give you bullets and high-quality guns. What do you think? Sound good? Well, we won't mind trading with you, buddy. Hercules, hand-to-hand, -hand, brass knuckles. Powerful machine for turning anything into mints. Yeah, that would be interesting. Oh, pulsar gloves. Heavy gloves, or rather work gauntlets made by Kamin Heights. Reinforced for working with anomalies and relics. Oh, that is actually something interesting. High-tech weapons 15, mechanical resistance 3, cryo and energy resistance plus 5. But doesn't give any skill points, but it's, that's actually interesting. Oh, and the Aurora helmet. Since this helmet is significantly heavier than usual, which in itself can cause additional injuries, it has built-in dampers to facilitate the impact in the event of a fall or hostile actions. The air filtration system is equipped with a small cylinder to store oxygen in case you need to change or clean the standard filter. Judging by the design, this helmet was built for working in conditions of heavy dust, contamination or toxic atmosphere. There are also disadvantages to this helmet, such as the incredible tightness inside and the constant fogging of the glass. Hmm. I, I'd like to have it for our collection, though. Hypnosis Sleeping Spray. Parallax boots, boots. That stuff is, is interesting for our companions. And I feel we should get this cleaning rod and weapon parts and the brush. Still smells like gunpowder. Cartridges, yeah. Well, maybe the fuel. The fuel is actually. I feel the fuel is relatively rare. It's this psionic weapons tech. And also the energy cells. So let's maybe let's get 20 of them. They're like so. And let's get some of the fuel or even all. Like that. I think that's good. So let's do that. Yeah, nah, all of it. So 415. Um, 900. Uh, 66. Let's lose 66. Like so. Yeah, let's do it like that. Good business. Accept. Thank you so much. We need to go. This is Rosemary Bollard. Hello, Rosie. A thick-lipped woman of uncertain age turns her lazy, unfocused gaze our way. As we get closer, the scent of alcohol grows stronger. Her badge and coming height colors reads Rosemary Bollard Guard. Make it quick. Bollard hiccups and rubs her chin on her shoulder. Damn it, it's so hot. Why the look? As if I'm the only blood one who drinks around here. Everyone does. It's a boring without it. 
Nothing's happening, not a damn thing. We saw a scorpion this morning, and a scorpion yesterday, and a jerboa. It's all dizzy here, uh, and sand, a sea, sea of sand. Yeah, the sea is what we are missing here. If there was water, this would be paradise. Hey, what were we, what were we talking about? She staggers for a moment and reflexively clasps her automatic rifle to her chest. Oh, well. Well. How about you, you know, how about having a beer together, my dear? And you tell us a bit about Carmen Heights while you are at it. How about a morning dune beer? We offer a bottle. Bollard twists the cap off with a much practice movement, takes a pull at the bottle. Oh, hell, that's a kick. Listen, you seem like a good person. Come in heights. What do you want to know? Well, how are you doing? With an effort, Rosemary tears, uh, tears herself away from the bottle. Oh, kind of all right. It's not the new comedy here. They've got nothing but propaganda on the TV. We've got debates, baseball, chess, motorcycle races. Well, the races are from 1975, Salt Lake City, you know. Sit down with the show and a beer in the evening. Splendid. <laughs> Bullshit. They cut the electricity of Ward 9. And the water, too. Splendid, yeah. So you gotta finish your drink in the dark. There's two brews here. One resembling morning dunes. The other... Wait, what, what did you ask again? The guy takes a long gulp of beer. Well, and what about the authorities in Carmen Heights? The black nearly chokes on her beer. <coughs> you, you, you don't know? Really? They are the raisiners. Johan is a serious man. Nope, not my style. He's too complicated. We drank with his wife one day. She's... Oh, I tell you. She acts like such a lady, right? But when she gets drunk, you know, I think she'll run out on him one day and then she'll bounce from one man's bed to another like a tennis ball. Tennis, penis, pe penis, like a penis ball. <laughs> Bollard snorts into a bottle, satisfied with her joke. Okay. Uh, well, and do you barter anything? No. Well, we don't know what else to ask, so have a nice shift and day and so on. She chuckles. Ooh, hell of a talk, eh? The alcohol on her breath makes our eyes water. What do you want? Yeah. Well, we'd like to buy a weapon, maybe. Rosemary looks down at her rifle perplex. This? I can't sell it. Oh, wait, how much? She hiccups. Oh, hell, don't confuse me. There, ask Hubert. He sells guards. I got. Okay, well. Then Good let's luck. step away. And I want to try something. I don't think there's any difference, well. but what about we give her the Dark Secrets beer? We offer her a bottle. She twists the cap off. Hell, that's a kick! Um, yeah, okay, so there's no, no other... No oh, other yeah. stuff. Let's keep the beer. Let's save the beer for later. Um, oh, and actually, we could actually put some stuff into our box. Let's do that. Yeah. Because we do we do have really a full uh, inventory here. Kind of a really full inventory, but you guys know me. If you are watching more or less regularly, I wanted to have two, right? Yeah, because I'm more the pack rat and really the survivalist. And being a survivalist, you need to have stuff. There, let's keep three. And the fuel, let's keep 25. That was really heavy. And, and I think we actually keep the two nylon ropes in our inventory. That is actually useful. There, you go in here. The polymetallic ore as well. But that because that stuff is kind of heavy. Yeah, and do we need five coffees? Let's lose two maybe. And let's lose one package water. We are on an expedition in the end now. So we need some stuff to stay safe, not that something bad happens suddenly or something. Yeah, but otherwise I think we are good. Maybe let's put two spare parts away. Go like this. Yeah, it's fine. 
So, uh, were there the springs? Do we have springs? Let's put these three away because here are four. Okay, so, and the shear blades. Do we need more shear blades than this? Let's keep three, and but that's it. So, that's it. Right then. So, have a nice day, guys. Good to deal weapons. There it is. Oh, and well, guys, you just wait here. Take a look at the uh, servo shell, please. Yoko and Jack. I just need to go around the corner. That was also exciting here. And then let's have a look. It's getting dark now. We need to have another rest soon. One canned beans. And we gain six experience, okay. Oh, and water, nice. Three experience. Let's save that. And then... Hubert, there are a lot of German names here. Let's have this stuff here for our collection, shall we? Oh, it's actually... Oh, we can't, we can't steal it all, huh? The Aurora helmet. Defense class. Ulsa gloves. Well, our ability Cost one six, uh, two six. Yeah. Hmm. High tech weapons. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, I do like the movement speed increase though. So let's only let's only steal these gloves and maybe some more power cells. And. What is actually rare? Air gun power, let's we have many. Let's have some handgun cartridges. Maybe 10. That's a sleep grenade. Yeah, well, that's just a lot of stuff. Grease. Oh, well, let's have the grease as well. And yeah, let's have 10 rifle cartridges. Maybe we should have uh, assault rifle cartridges as well. Ten there. And some money. One hundred. Yeah. There. So, there you go. Damn. I can't believe it. I'm surrounded by thieves. Uh, we, we are not getting any, uh, yeah, let's take, let's take 25 bucks from her. again what kind of folks would do this sorry we are ethically questioned yeah we do have some mental problems we do have mental issues being a genius can be sometimes really hard yeah 
And well, we, we were only like thinking ahead about science and stuff, but never so much about morals and ethics. And that's just how it is. Night shift. Ah, oh, yeah, at night you're especially alert. Since when? I think that's. Uh, is that coming from the criminal? I dare you. Pain innocent. Where does this come from? Or oh, here, Pathfinder, Capricious, Waste Reduction, Dust in the Eyes. Oh, we need to use the Dust in the Eyes at some point, huh? So the team play, fighting spirit, conviction, intimidation, charm, barter, no, no, no. Night shift. Ah, there, it is a tech thing. Initiative plus 10 at night. Technicians under the dome need to be prepared for emergencies at any time, especially at night. Well. Well. By the way, I just noticed something because uh, with the tech we got the the restoration, right? Cost of items on sale plus 20%. So we could actually sell stuff and then steal the money and we make a 20% deal with that. Sounds smart, doesn't it? So let's get out of here and then I think we are going to have a Yeah, no, we don't want Maelstrom. Travel. Actually, the barrier? No. Yeah, but I think we need to have a break now. Significant fatigue. Hunger. Let's camp. And then we are uh, ending the episode, actually. Where's our camp here? Oh, that looks nice. Are you guys coming? Oh. Oh, I'm glad we didn't leave them behind. Um, and by the way, sorry, let's check something. So we got some pulsar gloves now, high-tech weapons. Well, you guys, you are, you are not very much for subtlety, Jack. Yoko, this here is also not a high tech wef weapon, is heavy. Yeah, okay. This is more interesting for someone else. So let's put the gloves. Um, oh no, here, sorry. Let's put the gloves into storage. Where are they now? Oh, so much stuff. Open your eyes and you shall see. Eh? I don't see the gloves. Where are the gloves? Oh. Eh? Where are the gloves? Am I... What is going on now? There they are. Pulsar gloves. Hmm. That's a bit weird, but I guess it's because they are stolen. But well. Ah, well. Whatever, they will show up, I guess. So, um, so let's eat something. We are hungry. For 400. So let's eat another fried roach leg. Hmm. And let's eat another one of these cockroach eggs. 270. Yeah, oh, that's good. So, cockroach egg. Yuck. And then let's have another fried hyena meat. There. We live off the land, don't we? 
smelly yeah we are a bit nauseous now but it's fine because we are just lying down but after this food we definitely should brush our teeth very thoroughly uh but uh, yeah i guess it's fine so 600 in the morning let's sleep for five hours oh and we are thirsty for 400 so let's drink a beer Yeah, let's drink a beer against the thirst. I I want to save the the water actually. There you go. Tipsy. Perception reduced, but yeah. But okay, brains. But yeah, we are we are uh, we are wandering around anyway. So a refreshing beer. But what happens next on our exploration and hunt for hyenas, we are going to see in the next episode, my dear fellow. Guys and gals under the dome, thank you for watching. I hope you like this one and I hope you agree with the uh, mission objective. Um, and if you have any other ideas, please do tell. But uh, yeah, most likely it will be too late because I usually play a couple of uh, episodes ahead. Although at the moment I don't have so much time for one uh, given uh, game. Um, and in about two weeks I will also be on a vacation. So I try to uh, play ahead a little bit and uh, record some more episodes ahead. So you will most likely not even uh, notice it. Um, but if you do, don't worry, more episodes yeah, will come soon enough and we are continuing this fine game. I like in case very much. I like the writing. I like actually, I like really a lot. It is certainly a hidden gem. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really good. It's a good game. Lots of good stuff. That is also working pretty nicely. Oh, this thing here is super. Let me just put that away, because that's so heavy. Before I forget it. If I could find it again. Eh? So I really don't understand this sometimes. Where is it again, these things? So now it's sorted by weight. It's a bit weird. But I think it's because it's stolen. Ah no, here, there. The weapon repair kits. So there you go. We don't need to carry around so many of them. Let me go away. I actually should uh, do more with uh, with these with these options here because that's that's much better to have an overview. Are these lock picks? Yeah, they weigh something, but it's insignificant. But we can actually put some canned beans away, maybe. And actually. Uh, we could actually also start eating some food out of cans. But yeah, I wanted to use up the, the nasty stuff first. Yeah. And gun cartridges can go here. Rifle as well. We are not shooting with the rifle so much anyway. Energy cells. Let's have 20. Salt rifle cartridges. There, like so. Now we are at 170. 
We only have 42 shots left now. And that could actually become a problem. So let's let's have 35 there. And then we can actually put the uh, the empty cartridges away. Where are they? Ammo there. Where's, where are the empty ammo cartridges? Hmm. We have them. I know that. Here. No. Eh? That's... That is a bit weird. Where are the empty power lids? Or did I put them away before? Oh, yeah. Uh, or I guess I put them away, huh? Yeah. Must have. That must have been the case then, now that they are not here. Okay, yeah. Anyway. So, and then that ends this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this uh, thing here just a teeny tiny little bit, please do click the like button and do subscribe to the channel so you never ever miss an episode again. And. I would be eternally grateful for the support of our little endeavor here. Thank you so much. See you next time. And if you have any thoughts, feelings, wishes, tips and tricks to share, please do so in the comment section. You know you're always welcome. See you next time. Bye-bye.